Hi y'all, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what we are using for history in the 2020-2021 school year. So stay tuned. Okay, so if you are new, welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Dina and I am a homeschooling mama of five kiddos, six and under. And on this channel, I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling and for encouraging mamas in their faith and in this amazing season of motherhood. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, then click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the little bell icon so that way you know whenever new videos pop up. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace if you'd like to get an inside glimpse on what goes on around here on a daily basis. Okay, so for a lot of us, our school years have already started and I'm sorry that this video is so late, but I was waiting on something very specific for this video. And I want to mention that this video is also going to include a giveaway and that's what I was waiting for. So watch this video all the way to the end and I will give you details on the giveaway at the end of this video. So history. So for this year, we are studying American history. We are part of Classical Conversations and we are in cycle three this year. And so we are studying American history. If you don't know what Classical Conversations is, I have a whole other video about kind of what it is and how we do it and how we do memory work in our school with our little kids. Um, so I will leave that link. Um, down below. I believe it's like two videos that I have specifically on classical conversations. And so what I'm going to show you today is kind of supplements that we are going to be using um, for that curriculum. So basically we study memory work and memory sentences um, every week. So for the first week we're studying a sentence about Christopher Columbus and then you can do whatever you want with that sentence. You can either just just do the memory work and just do the sentence, which is great and what we've been doing for years, or you can dive as deep as you want to. And that's what I love about CC is that it gives me freedom to do what I want with my kids. And so everything I'm going to show you today um, are supplements for CC, but they're also just for American history. So if you aren't part of Classical Conversations, but you are studying American history this year, then all of the things that I'm going to show you today um, apply to you also. If you've seen a few of my videos recently, like my Amazon haul or my huge homeschool haul, then you have probably seen a few of these things that I'm going to show you. Um, so I'm not going to do a complete flip through of everything because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys and it's going to be like a two hour long video if I show you everything. Um, so a lot of this is just separate little things that I'm gonna show you that I have kind of um, gathered along the way, but I also, what I was waiting for is the exciting part of this video and I'm gonna show you kind of a full curriculum that I'm going to use right along Classical Conversation and it is talking about early American history. So I'm gonna show you first um, all of the little kind of supplements and activities and different things that I have. And then I'm going to kind of give you a flip through of that curriculum and information on that giveaway. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I've got. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys was this map. This is our scrunch map. Um, and I got this on Amazon and everything will be linked down below. I have an Amazon shop now. And so um, you can just click the one link and then it'll take you to everything that um, I have been able to find on Amazon and I will link it all in my shop. And so you can just kind of go and check it out. But we already have the world scrunch map and we've got this United States one. And this has already, if you can see, it's already been used and we absolutely love this. I can't wait to go through and like have them point out all the different states and everything. The best part about this map is that you can scrunch it up. It's very durable. And so even my two year old can get it and play with it. And I'm not scared that she is going to destroy it. So this is a definite necessity in our home because we have so many littles. 
Okay, the next thing I want to share with you are these United States um, cards. I got these at the Target Dollar Spot, or actually they are at the Target, Target Dollar Spot. My wonderful director actually gifted these to me for helping out. <laughs> and so they're just different cards of the different states and they have a full United States map in there, which we've already used. Um, and so I love these little things. I believe they're a dollar. Yep, just a dollar at the Target Dollar Spot. <laughs> The next thing I want to show you guys, um, and I'm sorry about the lighting, y'all. We're having kind of bad weather today, and so it's dark outside, so I'm having to use lights all over the place, and it's, ah, the shadows, you know, whatever. So... <laughs> Anyway, so this is New World Echoes, and this is made by Classical Conversations. And so if you can see, it goes week by week, and then it has different things that you can do each week. And now also what it has on our Classical Conversations website is a activity pack to go with each week. And so I just print out the activity pack, and I read this to them as they are doing the activities. And they've got just different stories and poems and literature, um, and it's just so neat. It's all together in one book and I don't have to go through and try to figure everything out. You can only get this on Classical Conversations website. So I will link that below separately. And I'm super excited. We're gonna use this during our symposium time or our morning basket. And I'm excited about using this with the kids. The next thing I wanna show you is this book, If You Were a Kid During the American Revolution, and it's just a cute little picture book, kind of explaining what it would have been like to live in this time period. Oh, I love this type of stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. It's super thin and it's not very expensive. I'm really looking forward to this one. The next one is George versus George. And my six-year-old has already kind of dived into this one. Um, this one is a little bit more lengthy. Lengthy. It's definitely not a one-sitting type of book. <laughs> it is the American Revolution as seen from both sides. I love that. I love being able to see it from both sides. So this is another resource that we have. And then I'm going to show you all of these together. We have the Who Was books. So Abraham Lincoln. We have the Boston Tea Party, Declaration of Independence, George Washington, D-Day, the First Thanksgiving, the Statue of Liberty, and the Twin Towers. And so we are going to dive into those at some point whenever they come up in our history sentence for CC. And then I have here Harriet Tutman. I don't know if I'm going to use this as an actual unit study because I actually don't know if I'm going to if we're going to have time. But I also have this picture book here of Harriet Tutman. So um, I definitely is definitely a character that I want to um, introduce my kids to. And so we might just read this. And then with that other curriculum that I'm going to show you here in just a bit, um, we have a little section on Harriet Tutman also. And then and the next thing I want to share with you is kind of specific to where we live. Right now we live in South Carolina and we went down to Fort Sumter, I believe it was. And um, so this is just kind of the history of South Carolina. So I thought it would be neat if we um, read this when we got to our state in our memory work. So this is neat. I love this. <laughs> Another book that we got here is um, The Very First Americans, and we already read this in one of the other cycles, but I think it'll be kind of a good introduction to and a reminder of, okay, these people were here before Christopher Columbus. And I actually saw my friend, um, Lady Flora, if you haven't checked out her channel, I'm gonna leave her link down below, but she also does classical conversations and she just did like a cycle three book haul. Um, and so I'm gonna leave that video down below so you can check it out. And she has some really great, um, fun things that she does with her kids. So go and check that out. The next book that I have here is Rosa Parks. As you can see, none of these books are in order at all. So they're not in chronological order. <laughs> um, but this is just a picture book. And these picture books I got, gosh, from like a thrift store or something a while ago, or they were given to me. I don't even remember. But these are really good books and a really good, like I said, introduction to these characters for my little kids. The next thing I have here is an activity book and it's across the USA activity book. And this one um, is from Usborne. I actually found it at a, at a consignment store. <laughs> um, but this one is from Usborne. It's a Kane Miller book. 
and it's just a fun activity book. I think only my oldest will be able to do this one, um, but that's okay. This will be something that she can do like during nap time or something like that when the other kids are taking a nap. Another resource I got from the Target Dollar Spot, I actually bought this last year because I knew we were going to be studying American history this year. Um, and so basically what it is, is just a pad and they're all the same thing. And it's just this paper. And so what I'm going to do is um, I think I am just going to have them color it in. So color them slowly in as we are going through the different states each week or have them color it all in. I'm not sure, but there's a few different pages in here that I can um, figure out what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> The next thing I also got from the Target Dollar Spot, I got it this year, and it's this activity mat that has the states and capitals on one side, and then it's blank, but it's got the stars where the capitals are on the other side, and this we're going to be using with our dry erase markers and coloring in what states and capitals we are learning for that week. And I got three of these mats from our Target Dollar Spot, so that way we can do it all at the same time. Again, something like this, you guys, um, you don't necessarily need, I just grabbed it because I saw it, but what I have used in the past is I just printed out one of these, like a map from the internet or our classical conversation books have these maps also, um, and then just make copies and put them in a sheet protector. And it's the same idea. It's like it's laminated and then you can just use a dry erase marker on it and it's reusable. So again, you don't necessarily have to buy everything. A lot of this stuff, like these kind of activities, you can just kind of make on your own. <laughs> The next thing I have is the We Sing America, and this has a bunch of songs on them. I think I might go through um, each of these in one week because I'd like my kids to learn the songs. So I think I am going to do it that way instead of just one song each day because I was noticing that they're not learning them as quickly or as well if I do just one song a day. So yeah, so we're gonna use this during our circle time. And the next resource that I got, this is a book set that um, I got at Sam's Club. And it's This Is America, the little golden books. And it's got all of these cute little books. So Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Jackie Robinson, Johnny Appleseed, Martin Luther King Jr., The First Moon Landing, The Statue of Liberty, and The White House. And this is just so cute. I thought this was such a cute little set, um, especially because my kids are so young right now. So um, I'm looking forward to diving into these with them when those characters come along for our memory work. The next thing I have here is George Washington Heroes of History for young reader, readers. And y'all, I didn't even know that Heroes of History had books for young readers. I actually saw this on my friend Jamie's YouTube channel and her channel name is Simply Living It. And I will leave her link down below if you have not watched her, subscribe to her. She is wonderful, you guys. And so um, thank you, Jamie, for this recommendation. It is so good. My boy has already confiscated this book and it is in his room. I had to ask him to borrow this book <laughs> so I can film this video for you guys. <laughs> so I love it. This is such a good book. And I mean, that's what we want our kids to do, right? We want our kids to love good books. This next one that I wanna show y'all is an Usborne book and it is a brand new Usborne book. History Uncovered, the USA, and it's got all of this information, just classic Usborne, you know, like so much information on this page. But what I loved about it is it's got the cutouts right here um, showing the progression of American history. And so here we've got the 13 colonies, and then over here we've got the next parts so in the next year, you know, where it's starting to kind of go towards the West. And then it just keeps going like that. And Osborne is just so good. They don't like miss anything, you know, like, so every time you turn the page here, it adds on like pictures. So see all of these American heroes are in this little section over here. Oh, I just love this book. This is like one of my favorites. This is another one that I had to ask my boy if I could borrow it <laughs> because he quickly took it to his room and it's just got so much information. Oh, I just love this book. And if y'all don't have a um, Usborne rep, then let me know. I can definitely put you in contact with mine um, because this, if you were doing American history, this is a great resource to have. 
And then, of course, my wonderful 50 States book. I love this book. It's just full of great information. Look at that, like so much information. We can use this book for years and years and years and still probably haven't, wouldn't have read all of it. <laughs> so just all of the different states. And I usually have this up um, displayed too just because the cover is just so beautiful. Oh, all the presidents. Oh my gosh, I don't think Solomon has seen that yet. <laughs> All right, so for the 50 States book is such a good book. Another resource that I have is this placemat from Michaels, and it's just got all the presidents on here, and then some information about American symbols in the back. My boy, so this thing is kind of all torn up because my boy carries this around with him, and he has memorized the presidents um, from a song that we found on YouTube, and also as part of our classical conversations, and oh my goodness, like it's just wonderful. He can go through and point out who all of the presidents are. It's pretty impressive. I, I don't know that, I didn't even try to teach him that. He's just, he's just, oh, he's just smart. <laughs> The next resource I want to share with you guys is this scratch off map of the USA. If you saw my first day of homeschool video, then you saw us doing our world map. Um, we have a world map version of this. And basically what it is, they have all of these little cards with a number on them. And then they have the map with the number on them. And you pick a card and you just scratch off the number and it reveals like that area of Brazil and um, just kind of all of the area around it. And it's it's just so fun my kids really liked it and once it's all scratched up scratched off it's an actual map and so you can use it as an actual map and so I really this was just super cute I got these on Amazon and we have loved the world one and so I'm looking forward to dive into this USA one Oh, and this next one, I forgot. This is all the stuff that is in our morning basket. So this one is Christopher Columbus. We're studying him the very first week of CC. And so um, I have this one in our morning basket. I also have this presidential pets in our morning basket. And this is so much fun. Just talking about all of the different pets that have lived inside of the White House. We also have don't know much about the presidents. And it has just a bunch of different fun facts on the presidents and who they were and just little quirky things about them. I showed a little bit of us doing this in our symposium time um, in my first day of homeschool video. So if you haven't checked out that video, then go check out the link below. <laughs> The next thing we have is another one of these picture books and this one is of Christopher Columbus. Again, these I got um, at some point somewhere. <laughs> I know that's not very good information. I will try to find these on Amazon and link them below for you. <laughs> the next one is everything you need to know about American history. Now this is for middle school, but it's got a lot of good information in here. So I'll probably just read snippets on it, like find um, something that corresponds with our sentence that week and just read a little bit of that um, during our symposium. And the next one is states and capitals. This one is a lot of fun. They've just got <laughs> cute pictures of all the different states as people. <laughs> and I just really like it. It's just really cute. And then it's got kind of a short snippet here of the different states. It's a great kind of just quick introduction to the states for my little kids. And then the next thing we have draw the USA and this is so good. We've done a couple of different ones before we've done draw Africa and we have done draw Europe. And so it goes through and it tells you exactly how to draw the United States and it goes state by state. And I just love how it teaches it. And so we're doing this during our symposium time. What I'm going to do is um, because I only have this one book and so I'm probably going to um, draw this on a whiteboard for them and have them copy the whiteboard so it's bigger and they can see it. And we have just loved these draw books and so I am looking forward to learning how to draw the U.S. And then the next thing I have here are these books um, and basically they are just workbooks and they have little sections for each individual state and so we'll just pull out 
the um, specific state that we're learning that week or different states that we're learning that week. And these are all the same. This looks different. I actually got this at the Target dollar spot one year and I got this at Walmart this year and they're exactly the same on the inside, you guys. <laughs> so yeah, so I bought three this year um, and then I realized too that my two-year-old does not like to be left out. So I'm so glad that I actually had this from last year. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so those are all the things that I've kind of just gathered here and there um, throughout the years, as you can tell. But what I wanna show you specifically today is this curriculum that we are using for American history this year, and it is Beautiful Feet Books. And I am so excited. They just revamped this whole teacher's manual and they have added different books in. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to flip through the teacher's manual first and then show you what books come in the packet. We have been using Beautiful Feet books for a long time now and I have absolutely loved them. And I can use them for my preschooler all of the way up to, I believe it's third grade for this specific pack. Um, but they have high school packs, they have middle school packs, they have just a whole bunch of different things. So I love being able to just um, gather all of my kids together and learn about American history and study and read these beautiful books. Okay, so this is the teacher's guide. This is going to explain what to do with all of the different um, picture books that you will also get in the packet. And so if you go through here, there's just a table of contents. So it's gonna go through the Vikings, the indigenous peoples of North America, the golden age of discovery, colonies, revolutionary war, the young United States, and the civil war. So this is like it says early American history. Some of this, like the Vikings and the indigenous people of North America, we kind of go through those a little bit in um, cycle two. And so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna start kind of right here, because I believe Christopher Columbus comes in right here. I'm gonna start here and then just do this section here. And then when we come around to cycle two again, then I will use this section up here. Um, and this is just how to use this guide. And then these two books down here are recommended. I did get this one. It just hasn't come yet in yet. Um, a child's first book of American history, um, because that one actually came recommended by one of my wonderful subscribers. And so she convinced me to just go ahead and get it. <laughs> I had been on the fence and she just convinced me to do it. <laughs> and so these are all of the books, but I will show you the books here, um, in just a bit. So it goes through and tells you a little bit about each of the books. And then I'm basically just gonna show you kind of the first few pages and then you'll get an idea of how this works. So this is the Vikings. This is a very Charlotte Mason curriculum. So it basically um, gives you these books and then it's very discussion based and it does have some activities, but a lot of it is just sitting there and talking through these books. So you've got rabbit trails and they recommend different books that you can get out of the library. Down here, they've got some online resources which are always really good. Um, I love all of these pictures. <laughs> and then basically like this, like lesson one, and it starts with scripture, and then it introduces the um, first book that you're gonna read, and it says read pages one through 11, because a lot of these books are gonna be pretty lengthy. So I like that it breaks it up into chunks like that for you instead of like, okay, sit down and read this entire book, and it takes you like a week to read it to your kids. <laughs> So it breaks it up for you into nice little lessons. Um, and then it gives you kind of talking points with your children. And then each um, lesson ends with like a, a journal entry. So it's got narration, it's got journals, it's got copy work. It's just got so much in here. And so, and that's it, that's lesson one. And then it goes down to lesson two and it's kind of got the same ideas. It's also got, if you see down here, it references a picture packet, which you can go online and you can print out that picture packet. And I love that it, they have it as an online resource um, because I can print off as many as I want and I don't have to make copies. I can just print them out and it comes out so much better than the copies. <laughs> And so, and then they also have these beautiful pictures. Oh my goodness, I just love all of these pictures. And so at the end of each section, they've got this historic table and it's got a recipe down here for a food of um, whatever 
period, time period you are studying or whatever peoples you are studying at the time. So this is like Scandinavian food here because we were looking at the Vikings. So at the end of indigenous people of North America, um, they have um, something that they ate. I don't know. <laughs> but this is so fun. This is so much fun. A lot of times, you know, like at the end of a unit study, maybe we'll go out to eat. Like we studied Japan last year, um, and we went to a Japanese restaurant and my kids still remember eating sushi, you know, like, um, and they remember, um, the art, the great wave, art because they saw it there in the Japanese restaurant. So they remembered where that was from. Um, and so it's just neat for them to experience all of these different things. It makes it come to life more than just reading it in a textbook. So this is probably where we will start. I have a sticky note here. This is where we're going to start because we do start on Christopher Columbus. And that's fine. I believe it does kind of talk, it compares Christopher Columbus to Leif Erikson because you have studied it in the past over here. Um, but that's okay because we can just talk about something else. So yeah, you guys, so I will just kind of flip through this, the colonies. And I love that it gives you book recommendations for you to go to your local library um, and check out these books. All the books that we have checked out um, based on the recommendations from the Beautiful Feet books um, have been just amazing books to read to my kids and that my kids can read on their own. Here's another historic table, colonial apple cranberry tart. Ooh, oh my goodness. The Revolutionary War. I love that it has this rabbit trails, you know, and you can just go and discuss and you learn so much when you just go off book, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yep. So this goes up to the Civil War. So this is the teacher's guide. And so now I'm going to show you all the books that come in the packet. Okay. So these... <laughs> are the books that come in the packet. As you can see here, there are a good amount of books in here. And so I'm just gonna kind of go through these books real quickly for you guys. Um, if you want a more in-depth look at any one of these books, um, then just let me know and maybe I can do more of a deeper flip through of this specific curriculum. I just don't want this video to be too long for y'all. Um, but the first thing I wanna show you here, because of the world circumstances right now, everybody is affected, including our big um, curriculum companies. And so um, some of these books are on back order and they will be shipped to me um, when they come in. I believe there's only three of them and one of them is the discovery of the Americas and what they did is they actually did a read aloud for us um, and so we can just go through and watch the read aloud um, I believe it's on YouTube and so it's just really great and I think that's just a great way um, to cater to your customers that's another thing beautiful feet books has such good um, personable customer service. I absolutely love it every time I can call them and just talk to one of their customer service reps. Um, they are just so sweet. And so I love this that they have done for us in that we can watch a read aloud on YouTube and it doesn't um, affect the flow of the lessons. And so here are the different books. Um, most of them are picture books. So this first one here is the Courage of Sarah Noble. The next one is The Pilgrim Stories. This is probably one of the longest ones. Um, and we will probably do this one as a read aloud, like during lunchtime or maybe read a little bit during our circle or symposium time, you know, something like that. Um, Cause this one's probably the thickest book that we've got. Um, a, the Year of the Horse's Carriage, 1801. Again, this is kind of a longer one, but it's got more pictures and it's not as long as the Pilgrim Stories book. So there's that one. Dear Benjamin Banneker, I believe. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so look at this. Look at these beautiful pictures. These are just so good. And these are books, you guys, that I would not have known existed if it weren't for Beautiful Feet books. That's what I love is they just give me a bunch of these books. Um, and then from there, I can kind of see what else I can find. <laughs> Phoebe the Spy. So we've got this one. <laughs> the Hannah. 
Another great one it has a good balance of words and pictures on the pages. And then this is a series, Adventures in Colonial America. Um, this is Jamestown. Good. The Winter at Valley Forge. So it's kind of the same idea. And we actually have another one of these books that I bought at a thrift store. Um, and I, I think, oh gosh, I can't remember which one it is, but I'll probably throw that one in to our stuff here soon. <laughs> um, Pocahontas. Now, the, this is a series by Ingrid, I believe, and Edgar Perrin Dulor. I, I probably totally just butchered that name. <laughs> but these books I have heard about, um, and actually Lady Flora talks about these books a lot too um, on her video, and these are just so so good i mean look at these pictures you guys they're just so good so we've got a few of these by these authors so we've got pocahontas abraham lincoln george washington look at that that's so oh i am looking forward oh my boy my kids are gonna love these um benjamin franklin so these are all by the same authors Dulier, I can't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher it, um, Columbus, so again, these books are probably not like one sitting type of books, but they are just rich in information, Leaf the Lucky, such good information here, um, this one's not one, and then I believe the last one in this series here is Buffalo Bill, just so good. And I love the size of these books. These are good, big books that my kids can read. And so let's just kind of keep going where we left off. The Encounter. I believe this is a new edition. And it just, it tells the story of people coming to America from the point of view of a little boy who lived here. And so, oh, I can't wait to read this one to my kids. Um, Sacagawea. <laughs> and my boy is kind of obsessed with money right now also. And so he knows Sacagawea from being on the um, one of the gold dollars that was issued a while ago. Um, so I think my kids are going to really love the story of Sacagawea. Squanto's Journey. Oh, I love these full page pictures, full page illustrations. So good. Okay, and then the last one here is Moses. And this is the one that I was telling you guys earlier that we have another picture book um, and another, probably a whole lesson devoted to Harriet Tubman. Look at these guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, so good. I can't even. Oh my goodness. So good. Such good literature. So yes, so these are all of the books. These are not actually, these are um, most of the books included in the packet. There are some other ones, like I said before, are back ordered. Um, and I will let you know which ones those are. But yeah, you guys, these are just such good, rich books. Another thing that I love about Beautiful Feet books is that if you already have a few of these books that are within this packet, you can take out those books and they will decrease the cost of the packet by those books. So for instance, this is another book that is included in this packet, but I already had this book. And so I just told them I already have this one. And so they took it off and gave me, you know, the discount of whatever the cost of this book was. And this one, you guys, is so good. Oh, my goodness. It talks about, you know, the Declaration of Independence and the Liberty Bell and the very first 4th of July. And, oh, we read this on the 4th. And, oh, it's just so good. My kids still remember stuff from this book. So, yes. So this is Beautiful Feet Books. All right, guys, so it's time for the giveaway information. So I'm so excited because I have actually partnered up with Beautiful Feet Books, and they are giving away to one of my wonderful subscribers the teacher's guide 
for this early American history curriculum. This has all the lesson plans in it and I am so excited that they were gracious enough to offer one of these to you guys. So for this giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know which one of these resources that I showed you today was your favorite and go over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace. The winner of this giveaway will be announced on September 10th. So you have a few days to enter to win. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that something in here sparked some inspiration in you. And again, remember you don't have to have all of this in order to have a successful homeschool because maybe some of this or one thing will fit and it will enrich your homeschool. All right, y'all, well, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and let's be friends. Follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace. Well, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day and I will see you next week with another video. Bye.